Hey everybody, listen, I just wanted to come on and let you know that I'm posting this video a week early. This video wasn't supposed to come out until next Sunday, but it's important enough information that I think you need to know about now. So my next video will be in two weeks. But please watch this video, and if you have any questions, please send me a message down below the video itself, or send me an email, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy. God bless you, and I'll see you in two weeks. Hey everybody, welcome to the SMA Journey 51 vlog. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a decision that was recently made by the FDA regarding Roche and Genentech's new potential treatment known as Ristaplam. We all know that Ristaplam is currently under review by the FDA to become the third viable treatment for those of us with spinal muscular atrophy, and this decision was supposed to be made no later than May 24th of this year. But recently, Roche and Genentech submitted new additional data to the FDA so that they could include a broader range of patients and their ability to take this treatment if and when it's approved, which we think it will be approved. This additional data is asking the FDA to allow older patients the ability to take this treatment. And in the Sunfish trial, the study looked at infants and toddlers, children, and people up to the age of 25. But the submission by Roche and Genentech to include older patients is great news for all of us. And while it is disappointing that we may have to wait another couple of months for the decision, I think it's well worth the time, especially if it means that more people will be able to take this treatment. The company that I work for, BioNews Services, is the parent company of SMA News Today, and they did an interview with one of the representatives from Roche. And what I've done is I've linked this article that you're seeing on your screen right now in the description of my video. So after you watch my video, make sure that you go down to the description and click on the link and read the entire article for yourself. Share it with your family and friends, and also share it with your doctors because it's information that I think they need to know as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that I produce. I hope all of you have had a fantastic week. Do me a favor, this upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. God bless you, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.